Hey guys, how you doing? Well, I want to explain something to you guys. Welcome to my channel. Oh, you guys have a great day so far. So, let's get to this discussion between Twin Flames, at least for me. Um, when it comes to Twin Flames, it's a very specific uh, cycle. Not everyone goes through a Twin Flame cycle. And a Twin Flame is someone that like represents like a harmonic um, balance for, you know, yin and yang. So if you're a very spiritualistic person and you found your yang, then you're like, oh, this is awesome. But for other people that do not believe in spirituality or anything like that or have faith in anything, basically, essentially, someone that actually equals your counterpart. Um, they're literally like the like you're the south and the north node of your life. Um, but to me, I feel like a twin flame cycle has to have at least four um, four characteristics uh, characteristics. In order for them to actually achieve a full, a full happy, um, and every single person is different, so that's why it's so interesting how people portray um, twin flames. Normal time, it's usually about the runner and the chaser. That's what also a twin flame situation. Um, most of the time, whenever you're going through a twin flame cycle, it's like um, it can be toxic and it cannot be toxic. Like it's it because both people have to be willing to give each other, like you know feel the universe, like, feel like both of you guys have to both surrender control so you guys can come together, you know? That's what it is about um, having the yin and yang symbol as the symbol of um, inner peace. Um, with my belief system, let's see, I wrote all this beautiful things down in my handy dandy. What's that? My father wrote... <laughs> My wizarding book. <laughs> so understanding that we go through cycles that um you know determine whether we're ready to go or not. And there's always been like a three uh three sixty kind of thing. Understanding you know mastery of self is one thing. That's not uh second thing is understanding your indulgence. So all the most important parts of self-indulgence. Um, believing in a higher power than yourself. And if you don't believe in anything, then understanding that you are your higher self. That you have to reach a better version of you every single day. Um, let's see. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm sorry. I should have everything connected. So... It's understanding that there is neutrality, being fully neutral, um, and understanding there's a lifestyle coaching or a lifestyle change that you have to like literally live and breathe it, like you're in the army or the or or anything else. Please don't say torture. I don't want to say torture. So, all right, here you go. So think of this as like a mind, body, and soul exercise. Um, understanding that for the mind, um, you have to have inner peace within self. Um, it also, once you reach a certain level of high in awareness and you go through a spiritualist awakening, or I call it the, uh, the spiritual um, rite of passage, which allows people to, in their own exempt right, to actually improve certain things. Um, 333 is a very synonymic number. And represents mind, body, and soul. So the mind is always the peace in mind. It's always the peace. The peace be still. Peace will be there. Just understanding that is also essentially what the mind is all about. And it's also being more knowledgeable, being more wise. And the older we become, the wiser we become. <laughs> Believe it or not, you do get wiser. And if sometimes you don't learn the lesson, then that means that the universe didn't, <laughs> didn't prepare you high enough for reaching higher self, okay? That also, also clarifies as total clarification, total clarifying. In a twin flame journey, we have what's called, um, for me, there's like twin, there's a twin, like a twin cycle. So you have to find a twin mate, which is essentially your best friend or your soulmate or someone that like um, could be an equal to you if you don't want to finish the cycle. But these are just regular cycles for me. Um, a, a twin in them 
is uh, someone that's born on your birthday. It's very rare um, that we actually meet people the same age as us or around the same age, but you always got to figure out who is your birthday twin because they essentially have to be a part of your life because how are you going to learn to appreciate someone if you don't appreciate the person that's born the same day as you? They're opposite. They're north and south nodes. Um, also, twitches. Twitches. Yes, twitches. For spiritualistic people, you have to also find your spiritual twin. Which I mean by that is a spiritualistic person that believes in the same um, ideals as you. Um, so I have twin in them, twin mate, twitches. So those are three. Think mind, body, and soul. But the one thing that I forgot to mention is, is that also family. So family is a, a family you're raised in or the family you're born into. But it also can be people that you meet across that actually believe in the same thing in your soul tribe. So your soul, you know, your tribe, your twin wife, which I'll call it twin tribe, uh, twin tribe, tribe. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so these are the ideas that I'm trying to come up with. Hope you guys give me some taste of what you guys think about what you believe or how you think I'm doing so far um, in terms of understanding what the three stages of true love is. And it's all about understanding, number one, self, um, knowing your indulgence, which means, you know, knowing your worth, knowing your reliance on yourself, um, self-love, and of course, the most important one, self-awareness. Um, because you want to always want to rediscover who you are. And I'm in a point in my life where I'm trying to rediscover who I am. i um, going through a really difficult time. So hope you guys have a good time. Enjoy. And... Merry Christmas! This is Angela Bash signing off.